I believe that everyone in this room and everyone in this world knows what they should do. Even though you don't know, but you know you have to find things you should do. Let's start with that. <sighs> and because this event is called Step Into Unknown, I found that the biggest factor that's holding us back from stepping into unknown is a fear of other people's opinion. I truly believe that because the fear of other people's opinion is holding us back from doing what we like, from doing what we, li from doing what we want, from doing what we should, from, from doing things that fulfills us, from the things that makes us happy. And I can really stand out the fact that 90% of us are stuck in their lives because of, because of other people's opinion. Because of My Little Pony 24 on Instagram is telling us that we suck. And that's the reason why we're not doing it. So, and as the Patrick was saying before, uh, the world is changing. And the requirements for us to succeed in this world are changing as well. And maybe you probably heard it before, but we need to be different to succeed in, in this world. Who heard, who heard this before? That's not too much. <laughs> so anyway, and most people ask me, hey Patrick, how do I become different? And I'm like, man, you got it wrong. You are already different. <laughs> you are already different. You just need to you are already different, and you just need to start living on your own and stop caring, caring about other people's opinion. I know it's really hard when your friends, when your mom and your dad, when your uh, friends in school, teachers are telling you the opposite, that you shouldn't do that, but when your heart is telling you to do it, I want you to do it. And I, when I was talking about, the di uh, t about being different, the fear is holding us back also from being who we are. So and this is holding us back from the success because we are not different, we are not ourselves. And I will share you a story with you. I will share you a story with you that is not connected to a business, but it's my latest experience with having a <laughs> huge amount of fear. It was last November. I out of nowhere, I saw a girl at school. And I found her really, really pretty. And I said, oh God, I'm gonna get this girl. I wanna get a date with this girl. So, I just walked into the school, all pumped up. And like, I saw that girl. But I like, got into the stress, she walked by, I'm like, oh my God, Patrick, you, you suck. And I'm like, oh God what I'm doing wrong. So I went on YouTube, watched every single video on how to pick up girls, how to get confident. I like search for all the programs, how to do that. I like watched every single <laughs> piece of advice I could. So, and I'm like, okay, Patrick, now I'm ready to do it. Two months later, I walked into the school already. And I like saw that girl. She passed by. I'm like, damn, I again done nothing. What's wrong? So I'm like, reflected my life because I'm, like, I'm, 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 I'm lacking confidence. Still, I watched every video on confidence and I don't have it. Don't have it. So I like reflected my life because in business, I'm a very confident person. But in picking up girls in school, oh my God, <laughs> I wasn't. So. I was like, what am I doing in business that here's, here's missing? And I'm like, I'm, what is it? What is it, Patrick? And I found out that I wanted to be confident, wanted to feel good before I even took action. 
So the point I'm trying to give you here is we are all trying to be, be confident, feel good about ourselves before we even done something, be before we even practice the certain things. So I'm like, okay, so I got it. I need to take action, I need to take action. So I'm like, okay, the next day I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna take action. I went to school, saw that girl. <laughs> Again, I did nothing. I'm like, what's wrong, Patrick? And like, I again sit down and thought about what's the next thing that's missing to me that I have in business. I'm confident I can walk to anybody, but here I can do it. What's that? And I'm like, it's the, it's the girls that she has all around her with herself. Like, she is always walking, walking with five friends. I'm like, I'm so afraid what these girls are going to say about me. I'm so afraid of these girls. Like... Yeah, so uh, I decided like, yo, I missed the point. <laughs> I told myself, okay, she always have, uh, ha she always has like five girls around her. I'm gonna walk up to her when she's alone. I waited two months, <laughs> and I'm like, she's never alone, man. Come on, I'm like, man, I need. It doesn't work out, so I'm like. Okay, I reflected myself to a business person. I'm like, what I'm doing wrong? I'm like, I'm still waiting for the opportunity. I need to create that opportunity and whatever it takes, whatever the situation is, I need to take action. I need to stop worrying what all the girls, all my friends are going to say about me. I'm going to do it. I'm like, oh, yo. So I felt like this is it, man. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to school. And again, what happened? I didn't need it. So I'm like, Patrick, I, I don't know what to do. I'm like, lying in my bed at night. I'm like, yo, what's missing? I'm like, thought in my head, are you okay, Patrick? With, with being afraid of other people's opinion and not saying hi to that girl and living life that you haven't tried it? I'm like, I'm not okay with that. So, Patrick, you, you know everything. You just gotta do it. I'm like, yeah, that's it. So the next day I went to school. I'm like, this is the day. I saw that girl, she passed by. I'm like, yo, Patrick, what the hell? What you be talking about yesterday? So I'm like, turn around, went to that girl, get a date, and we are not together, but. <laughs> But what I want you to say, what I want you uh, like learn from this example, it's not from bis from my business world, it's from my personal world. But I want you to show the three lessons that we can apply everywhere in our lives that are connected to being afraid of unknown and of other people's opinion. The one is that I was talking about: the confidence comes always after the action. We like now we have all because of the social media and good stuff around us, people, celebrities sharing only the good stuff, only like how they're living good lives, no struggles, like overnight successes. And we feel bad about ourselves. So we don't want to look bad because everyone trying to be and trying to look good. And so we have fragile egos and we don't want to look bad. So I know it's tough, but the feeling good feeling and the confidence comes always after the action. And the second one is, the second one is the zero option mentality that I apply in most areas I, could, I can. And it means whatever the situation is, you gotta do it. And the third point I'm going to explain you in an, uh, like in an imagination. I would like you to imagine your dream life in 20 years. How would your life look like? What house would you like to live in? What car would you like to drive? What wife would you like to have or husband? What kids you would like to have? What places you would like to go to? Like, what is it? It's a great, it's a great imagination. I love it, I do it every day. But I want you to think about totally differently. I want you to think about being in 20 years, being 40 years old, 
and having the exactly same life as you have today. I want you to think about it. That in the next 20 years, you're going to be sitting on a sofa with a beer in your hand, watching TV, and telling all the stories how, how life sucked you. And this imagination really drives me crazy. And what like, connects me to the story before, that I w wasn't okay with not doing it, and being driven and like controlled by other people's opinion. And with what I want to end today's speech is like the lady's face. I was talking about being 40 years old and not achieving, not even getting closer to what you want, is regret. That was the final thing that moved me forward, was regret. Because when I see 70 years old, 80 year olds having regret in their eyes, being 80 years old and not be able to climb that mountain that you always wanted to, not be able to start a business that you always wanted to, not, not be able to play tennis with your kids anymore because we are 70, 80 years old and the life passed. And I am 18 years old. But twice as that, it's going to go so quickly the next 20 years. Twice as that, I'm going to be 40 years old, as I told you before. And it's going so quickly, so quickly. All these people saying, you have all the time in the world. But man, we are going to be 40 years old this quickly. It's going to pass so quickly. So I don't want you to waste that time being afraid of other people's opinion. I want you to rethink about the title of today's, today's event. I don't want you to step into unknown. I don't want you to be like careful and like, oh, step into unknown, oh, is it, is it okay? Are you okay, mom, with that? Like, I want you to not step into unknown. I want you to freaking jump into unknown. <laughs> so, thank you so much. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.